These days, if you're interested in studying math, there's no shortage of free lectures and tutorial videos and such on websites like YouTube and even some university websites like MIT OCW and so on. But if you want to get free textbooks, that's another matter. In the past, there haven't been as many of them available, and even if there were, they weren't very popular or they weren't very widely adopted, so you didn't know if you could trust them or not. But in the past few years, that has been changing. So on this channel, in the About section, I've listed two links. The first one is to openaccesstexts.com, and it has textbooks for various subjects, abstract algebra, calculus, complex analysis, linear algebra, and so on even real analysis and proofs and some statistics. The second website is quite similar in that it has a collection of math textbooks. Some of them are the same as what is available on open access text, but this one actually has a little more of it. So taking a look at open access itself, if I were to approach studying math from the ground up, I would take a look at the collection of calculus books. One of my favorites is the calculus book by Gilbert Strang, as well as OpenStax Calculus, but other people might have different preferences, and obviously you have quite a few options here. Then I would move on to linear algebra. My personal favorite is the first course in linear algebra by Kenneth Cutler because I've had experience using that both as a student and as a TA. And I also like Linear Algebra with Applications by Keith Nicholson. After these, if I felt like I needed a bit more training in proofs, I would consult one of these texts on proofs so I could actually know how to read proofs, how to construct them, and so on. Then I would move into real analysis, which is sort of a continuation of calculus, making it a bit more rigorous. I would go for, say, basic analysis by Jiri Lebel or elementary real analysis by Thompson, Bruckner, and Bruckner. And I would also study abstract algebra, in particular, algebra abstract on concrete by Frederick Goodman. That's my favorite. The other one by Judson is also good. I've seen it adopted in a few departments, but I haven't used it personally. In any case, these are a great collection of books and they can certainly be used to accompany this abundant set of free resources that are available on YouTube and Coursera and MIT OCW and many other websites in the form of video lectures and recitation sessions and so on.